Newton bends low, takes the snap, short drop, hits the quarterback draw. Oh. Oh. Somersault for the touchdown. Rodgers, touchdown, Montgomery. Down the field, has his man, it's Brandon Tate. Brady drops back, has time, throws to Gronk, wide open. Touchdown, Patriots. Looking deep for Demarius Thomas, jump ball, he's got it, breaks away, and backs into the end zone for six. Gonna go deep for Jones. He's got it. What's up, DJ Bucky here for Move the Sticks. Bucky, we are four games in, so quarter of the way through the season. We've got six undefeated teams, and nobody loves to rank things more than you and I. So we're going to look at the quarterbacks of these undefeated teams and rank them one through five. Who's been the most impressive so far this season? I'll give you the floor first. Well, I mean, I'll get it started. I think when you talk about the top of the list, it has to be Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady. They deserve to be there. But then after that, it's all debatable. Cam Newton, Andy Dalton, Matt Ryan, those guys are playing at a high level. I'm really impressed with what Cam Newton is doing. When you think about Cam Newton being a guy that doesn't have a lot of playmakers around him, having to do it all on his own, he is giving me the kind of play that I expect to see from a franchise quarterback. I believe he is not getting enough credit for playing at a high level. I've got the same five names on my list, a little bit different order. Right at the top, still the same. I've got Aaron Rodgers, Tom Brady, and you look to me, I give Andy Dalton the nod over Cam Newton, and then I have Matt Ryan in that fifth spot. And Bucky, I get what you're saying about Cam Newton, and he's doing it basically by himself. You got Ted Ginn as his number one wide receiver. Oh, uh, I mean, no, no, Kelvin Benjamin. Are you I, kidding I, I, me? Just a just a bunch of guys trying to do it. The numbers don't look great, but he's finding a way to get it done. No, he's been phenomenal. But to me, Andy Dalton is playing at a higher level I've ever seen him play at. I'm kind of thinking this is his Tony Romo year, where forever Tony Romo was questioned and people didn't know how good he was, and then eventually people bought in. I think this is that year for Andy Dalton. And when I go and watch the tape on him, Bucky, I mean, you see a guy that's very consistent. He's very productive. He's very effective. And, and there's one play I wanted to show, if we have a second here, just show what he can do, not only from the framework of the pocket, but what Andy Dalton gives you because of his mobility, his ability to extend plays and make things happen. When you look at this play right here, you got a comeback called against the Kansas City Chiefs on the outside. You see a route is run, not there. Andy Dalton, though, has been able to extend the play, get outside that pocket, scramble drill. You'll see Tate convert, go down the field. And not only do you get a completion bucket, you get a long touchdown pass from Andy Dalton. He's winning not only inside that pocket, he's creating making things happen. You know, it's hard to argue with Andy Dalton's play. I think Hugh Jackson done a great job of crafting this offense around his skill set. I think we're seeing him get back to play like he played at TCU. Some spread option stuff, moving around, using the athleticism. Because a lot of people didn't realize how athletic he was coming out. We're seeing that come to fruition. And we're also seeing... He is surrounded by a talented supporting Ooh. cast. Makes it really hard for him to fail. I think Andy Dalton's playing the best of his career. I think Hugh Jackson's presence has a lot to do with that. Of the six quarterbacks undefeated, we both left the same guy off the list, Peyton Manning. Are we both crazy? No, 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 no. We're not crazy. I think right now is the first time in his career Peyton Manning is kind of being a complimentary player. He's no longer the guy driving the bus. The Broncos are going as their defense goes, not as their offense goes. Yeah, who would have thunk it? Peyton Manning. We have six undefeated teams. He's one of them. We don't think he's one of the five best quarterbacks in that group. That shows you how good these other guys have been. For more Move the Sticks, you can check us out twice a week on YouTube as well as NFL.com. Bucky Brooks, Daniel Jeremiah.